In this video, we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of being a mortgage broker or mortgage advisor in the UK. So pro number one for me is about satisfaction. What can be more satisfying than actually helping your customer and your client to become a first time buyer, to move from their first home on their first flat into their next home or even go to their dream home? You know, nothing brings more satisfaction than when a client is super happy with the service and everything that you've provided to them. But not just that. You know, being in the industry for as long as I have since 2003, it's helping people to create property portfolios, create a secondary income, leave employment to go self-employed because they're now earning enough property income. You know, my team and business and me have taken people from one property through to portfolios of 40, 50, 60 properties, as well as helping people build developments. The opportunity is massive. And there's nothing more gratifying than helping people, you know, achieve social mobility, have a better life, become more financially free, create memories in a home that they're going to be in for absolutely ever. Definitely number one in terms of pros is just helping your clients to achieve their dreams, to realize their ambitions and to make that next move, become more financially uh, aware and have the right financial foundations in place in and around life insurance, critical illness, income protection, having those discussions and taking care of absolutely everything for them. Satisfaction is most definitely number one. The number one con though is the fact that everything is outside of the broker's control, my control, my team's control. You've got estate agents referring in leads. You've got solicitors that you've got to deal with. You've got the mortgage lender that you've got to deal with. There's so many different components to get to that satisfaction and that client's end goal, which nine times out of 10, as the mortgage broker and the mortgage advisor, you're the one controlling everything. You're the puppeteer dangling them all out, making sure that they all move their hands and legs at the same time. And you're the one taking all the rap from the client. And it's just that element of sitting on hold and waiting, you know, having to do everything for everyone consistently. And sometimes you might feel that you're not getting that gratitude for the job that's been done. But then when you get the keys, then when you get the mortgage offer, all of a sudden that satisfaction outweighs the con of not being in control completely. The unfortunate thing is a bit like, you know, everybody else is the Pied Piper and you're having to sing to their tune, unfortunately. But it's a necessary evil. It's part of the process. Once you understand the job enough, you know how to play your own game and you know how to make it work for you. Pro number two about being a mortgage and protection advisor or mortgage broker is the flexibility and the lifestyle that you can live. Now you only really get true flexibility and a really great lifestyle, I believe, if you employ a team. You know, at least three people, but if you've got one PA, as long as you're happy doing absolutely everything and you understand that, you know, if it's just you, you've effectively created yourself a more profitable job, and if you can get a PA, that gives you a little bit of freedom and flexibility. But if you can get a team of four, then that's gonna give you a lot of freedom and flexibility. But the beauty of being a mortgage advisor is the fact that you can drop the kids off from school, you can pick the kids up from school, you can go to the gym, you can have a lifestyle, you can work in the evenings, you can work early in the mornings. The job is completely versatile. You can even go on holiday for a week and providing you've got Wi-Fi, you can do pretty much most of the job. You know, I've even got a VoIP phone, which means I could take my phone with me if I wanted, plug it in and I'd be on the office landline. It's so flexible from that point of view. You can do it from anywhere. And now with Teams and Zoom and all these different channels that you can have great communications with clients on, they would never know where you are doing business with them. Of course, if you're sat in your swim shorts outside opposite a swimming pool, then maybe they would have a wee bit of an idea. But I think lifestyle, flexibility, freedom, the chance to be around those that you love, having a fun and profitable lifestyle business can easily be achieved with the right people around you. 
Con number two is definitely the fact of a lack of client knowledge. They don't understand the amount of work that we do as a mortgage broker. You know, particularly I've been in the industry since 2003 and prior to the credit crunch, it was so much easier. There's now this massive misconception that the job is really, really easy. And the problem is, from a client's perspective, most of the time, you look like the swan, you look like the duck, but we all know that we're the legs under the water paddling like, exactly. And this is the actual problem, is if we could educate consumers as brokers and improve their knowledge on the process, on what goes on behind the scenes, showing them the reality of the hard work that you do as a broker, it's going to educate consumers and it's gonna make the job easier. The con is the fact that they just have a lack of knowledge about everything that we do, how we do it, why we do it. Some, let's be honest, don't even care but nine times out of 10, they're the ones who cause you the most aggro. But they can also be the ones who are some of your best clients because they just let you get on to do the job and they pay you your worth. But this is why I'm such a big advocate of social media, content marketing, educating consumers, because together we can improve that con. Pro number three is definitely the financial reward. Let's be honest. Being a mortgage broker, being in the financial services industry, it's a regulated environment. You have to go through a lot of hoop jumping and compliance in order to be able to do the job, but you do get paid nicely for it, especially if you charge a fee, especially if you do a proper job. And when you do a mortgage, you do the life insurance, the critical illness, the income protection, the solicitor, the home insurance, the will referral. You know, that can make up a seriously valuable case size, especially if you're working on larger and bigger mortgages. You know, if you're helping clients to do bridging or development or looking at building property portfolios, you know, you can almost guarantee yourself a high level of business for a long period of time. And that can be superbly financial rewarding. So what's better than having a massive amount of satisfaction because your clients are grateful for the job that you do? You have the flexibility and the freedom to do it when you want, how you want, where you want, and you're getting paid handsomely for it. It's a great industry to be in. It's hard bloody work, but when you get an understanding, when you've been in it as long as I have, you can't get out. And even if you try, it pulls you back in because there's almost a bit of an addiction to helping clients achieve and realize their social mobility and to achieve their goals. The final con, number three, is the fact that we're VAT exempt. Having been in this self-employed since 2006, the amount that I've paid in terms of VAT, and because I can't charge it to clients, you know, lead providers, offices, all the expenses like IT or telephone systems, that amount of money that's going out in terms of VAT, I'm not able to claim any of it back. Uh, now, that's just one of those things that you have to accept. There's no real other way around it unless you start charging consultancy fees, for example, and you earn enough income from doing that, that you could put VAT on it. Uh, it's one of those things that you just have to bite the bullet and deal with. But I would definitely save a lot of money if I could claim back some VAT over the years. I'd hate to think since 2006 how much I've wasted. But let's be honest, the three cons, being out of control, and having to sing everybody else's tune, the clients lacking knowledge, being VAT exempt, they're not massive in comparison to the three pros of massive amounts of client satisfaction, flexibility and freedom to do stuff around your lifestyle, and being financially rewarded so that you can do the things you love with who you love. Hope that helps, hope that inspires you, hope you enjoyed this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you hit the like button, you leave a comment with your three pros and your three cons. I'd love to see what you're saying. And don't forget, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notifications of every video that we're putting out because we're putting out a lot of content for you on YouTube and it would be great for you to catch up on all of that. Take care, hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one.